Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to show you three different ways to do image transfers using TLS. So the first way is to actually draw the thing that you want to transfer, the image. And here I'm just using pencils and colored pencils. And you just color it in so that it can like actually, with the colors that you want it to end up with. And the second way is to get an image from a magazine. So I'm just looking through this one for an image that I like. And I found this one, but I'm not going to include the guy. <laughs> I'm just going to use this surfboard and the waves. And the third way is using an image printed off the internet. So it's just like regular paper and ink from a computer. And so these are the three images that I'm going to use. So the first step is to you just put TLS like on the image that you're going to be transferring and um, you don't have to put it everywhere just enough so when, once you spread it it'll like be covered so I'm just using the end of a paintbrush to spread the TLS but you can use like anything even your finger or I don't know something else but you just want there to be a thin layer over top um, and so it won't be too thick or it won't be clear after baking. So this is what you want to end up with. Now just repeat with the other images. So I'm just doing the magazine one now. And so here they are all three of them. I just did the other one. And see how you can kind of see through it and like the image that's under it kind of looks like that. So, okay. Now TLS works better at higher temperatures because it's more translucent, so I'm putting mine at 300 degrees, which is the highest it can go to, and I'm just going to put it for 10 or so minutes because sometimes it takes less, so now I'm putting them in there to bake. And you just want to keep an eye on them because sometimes they burn, like the TLS cooks quicker than on other ones so you just want to stay by and open it once in a while to see if like there's smoke coming out or if it smells funky because if there is smoke coming out then they're probably burning okay so these are the three so now you're just gonna place them in some water once they come out they're like not hot at all so you can just put them in there and I left mine for like 10 minutes Okay, so now I'm just taking the first one, which is the one with the colored pencils that I drew. Um, now that the paper is like wet, it can like peel off like easier. So now you just peel it off. And if you find that it's like drying out or it's not peeling as easily, you can just place it back into the water for another like five minutes or something. And now you want to get like the last remnants of the paper by rubbing it instead of just peeling so that the paper will come off. And this is how it looks at the end. So it's like pretty translucent. And like the color stays in everything. So here it is, and again, this is how it looks against like the white of something like white clay, if you want to do that at the end. So now I'm just peeling off the extra magazine paper from the surfboard and the guy or whatever. So yeah, I, I already did this one. And with the magazine one, the paper doesn't really stay on as much. It's like mainly the ink, unlike the one with the paper, like the one that you drew, the paper stays kind of a lot. But with the magazine, just the ink stays and it's like translucent and you, there's like no paper, you can see the image clearer. And I really like this one actually. I think this one was the best one. And yeah, so this is how it looks against the white. And now the last one, which was the printed image from like the internet. So yeah, there's tinted and snowy. <laughs> so 
So now you just do it like with the first one. You just try to peel some off at first, but since this one had like no extra, see? So I just had to start rubbing it. And then the paper just comes off like that. And so that's how it looks at the end. And you can see kind of like the colors kind of faded a little. It's still translucent, but it's not as sharp as the magazine ink was. See? But it still came out pretty well. So these are the three all together. Um, of the three, the magazine one came out the best, I think. Because there's like no p paper at all on it anymore. And it's really ink just there. And this is like the second best, I guess. And this is the third because I think it was the paper I drew it on. It was kind of thick. So try to just use like white photo paper like to print so, stuff. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you have any questions, just leave them down and I'll answer you as soon as possible. And um, if you have any requests or anything, just leave them in the comments and I'll see what I can do. Thanks guys. Bye.